Today we're going to be talking about doing groundwork with the gated horse. My name is Ivy Schecksneider. I'm a gated horse trainer from Northern Illinois. Now these exercises work for any horse. And this, you're going to see a raw video. This is not a polished video. I'm using my mare Serenity. She is a Tennessee walking horse. Um, she is a Tennessee walking horse, standard red mix mare, and she is gated. Um, but mostly you're going to see the trot in this video. Some of this groundwork I've done with her, but she actually has not really been worked in quite a few months. Um, probably not since last November. So you're seeing on a very windy day when she is a bit excited, there's a close call, you will see. Um, her foal is out there with us, and you're going to see I nearly get kicked when she kicks at her foal. I did not get kicked, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> Those things happen with horses. And um, what I want to talk about are just some slow things. There's a link in the description that shows another video where I go through in more depth uh, the groundwork training uh, with one of the exercises, so please check that out. And I want to talk about, I want to show you this video. It's not polished. What I'm hoping to do is work with her every other day or so and then video the sessions and keep giving you updated video. So you're going to see the very beginning of a few different exercises. And here's hoping <clears throat> that over just a few days, you'll see an improvement as I continue to work with her. Now, there are probably many other exercises that would be good. And I will take suggestions. And if I like them, I will happily go out and demonstrate them with my horse. But you're not seeing a finished polished horse because this is what it could look like for you. Um, we've already done a lot of the head down work. And I forgot, but I will put a link in the description on the, the head down groundwork that I have already done with this horse. And so you'll be able to see that as well. So what I'm going to do, we're going to start playing it and we're just going to go through. Um, I probably won't be taking any questions till the end of it. It's about 14 minutes long. Um, but afterwards, I'll come back and check on here to see if there is uh, any questions. So we're about to get started again. We're talking about groundwork. This is true for any horse. This works with any horse. And we're going to be talking about some of the things I'm doing in the video and things you can do. One thing I want to note is I am using clicker training <clears throat> with her. You will see me feed food and I'm clicking at times. You can do the same thing if you'd like to use food. You don't have to, but you are welcome to um, just stop and let the horse rest. Hey, Lori and hey, Nancy. So we're going to get started and I'm going to go through this. Save, you can ask your questions whenever you like to clarify something and I will get to them once I finish my talk on what I'm doing here. So here we go. Groundwork with Serenity. You're going to see her foal running around <laughs> a little bit crazy. Uh, it's a very, very windy day, cool day. And so, you know, you know what the horses are like then. So Serenity already is a little bit buddy sour. Um, and looks like we, hang on, uh, we start at the beginning. I don't think we're at the beginning. Okay, here's the beginning. So she's already a little buddy sour and she's pretty high headed. So what I'm at the beginning, I'm mostly just looking for her to move around and do the head down, which we've already taught. So you're going to see her drop her head and I'm basically going to click and uh, right there I clicked as your head came down. And at the beginning, I'm asking for very small steps of head down. She knows how to drop her head way down as you will very soon see. Right there, she knows. And what I want is, as I continue this groundwork and show you progress, because this is just from today, and I haven't worked with her since last year, um, I want to see duration. I want to see it get longer, that she holds her head down longer. The other thing that I love seeing with horses, and I will praise any time I see it, is to see uh, when horses turn their heads toward me. Many times people have horses that turn their heads away and they jerk on the rope. I'm not going to, I'm going to try to never jerk on the rope. There, see how she's bending around me and putting her head down? That is what I want. Now, this video isn't exactly going to show you how to do that, although you'll be able to watch it a few times and probably kind of glean some of that from it. <clears throat> but I want a reward, which in this case means stop and praise and let the horse think about it. Whenever uh, my horse looks at me or bends around me rather than looking at everything else. And I am also going to click and treat. So you guys know I, how I, what I think about clicking and treating. Um, I'm asking her to go a little faster at the trot, put her head down right there. She got a little bit frisky. No worries. I just ask her to keep going. See that trot turn really nice there. Um, again, if anybody has questions, 
uh, on this. I can probably follow up and do some slow motion if we need to, but we're just going to watch it in real time. So the next thing I want to do is a backup. Or actually, I think I was asking her to bend around me a little bit. So there, see how she softened, just bent her whole body? That's what you want to start seeing on a very <laughs> loose rain. There, sorry, there's the, the full firefly. She's seven months old and she has the zoomies. Um, I'm looking for her to step her shoulder over, which I have a good exercise for that. But I'm, I'm also, you can take your horse and do what I'm doing there. Take a small circle and stop and praise whenever the horse bends around you. You do not have to do this in a rope halter. I just, this is some of the nicer halters I have are rope halters. Um, okay, right here, <clears throat> it's about to get a little bit dramatic in a minute. Um, like I said, don't worry. I do not actually get kicked and Threnody was not trying to kick me. Um, part of me just for being in the way when I shouldn't have. So, um, a horse is rolling while we're doing groundwork is not that unusual. And right there, I do not get kicked. Serenity was kicking at Firefly, her obnoxious filly. And so, um, don't worry about it. So here, I'm, I'm giving her that loose rope. I'm asking her to look toward me to give me that attention right there. She did. And I want to always keep that loose rope if possible. Now, if the horse wants to run, you know, you can stop them from hitting the end of the rope. Um, and again, you can see Serenity is a little bit impatient here. <clears throat> I'm not probably communicating as well as I could, but I want her to bend around me and move that shoulder over. There, so the other thing I want to talk about, you're going to see me do with her, is the backup. Now, I don't want her to back up with her head up. I'm looking for that head to come down. The lower, the better for the backup. Okay? We want that head to come down. I'm also giving her, I give her the treat as I click and praise her, but I am also, um, I am Okay, so the screen keeps freezing. I don't, I got, just, let's see here. Um, yeah, not sure what that's about. Hopefully it'll get better. And you can watch the video, rewatch it at the end, and it'll probably stop freezing. Okay, so <clears throat> the backup is super important. I, <laughs> when, when I stop and give her a treat, I also let her think about it. I don't just rush off again. That's another important thing. Remember how I talk about um, stop and praise? The same thing is true for groundwork, okay? And what I want to see is that, um, we're giving the horse a chance to think about what we're asking. Oh, so there I let the rope get too long. That was my bad. For the backup, I want the head down low. And so I'm not, I'm being very light. I'm not pulling on her. And as soon as her head drops, that's when I'm going to stop and praise or click and give a treat. If the screen is freezing, um, I'm sorry about that. I can't do anything about the internet speed right now. My brothers are supposed to be off the internet. And uh, we're supposed to, uh, but once the video is uploaded and finished, it'll be better. If you want the very clean video of this, I'm just throwing this out there. I'm, I'm recording this video without it being live. And you can get it on my private training group. It will be uploaded today. Um, and so that will be the full HD without any freezing if this is an issue. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing random things to get her attention. My biggest thing is get her relaxed and get her paying attention to me at the beginning. And you can do this with your horses. You want attention. You want them to focus on you and do head down early. Um, and whenever she puts her head down or starts looking at me, I will reward, whether that's a treat or whether that's stop and let them rest or let them have a bite to eat. See how she's keeping her head down there? Good. And she's also doing it with her, her full running around like crazy. We're away from the other horses. It's very windy. Okay, good. There's that head down again. I'm asking her to trot. Lovely. Now, what I want to see is to see her trotting with her head down longer so we can go several circles, but initially she doesn't have the, the muscle strength to hold it. So I'm doing short little bursts and really encouraging her to focus on me. Um, so I'm going to continually, I'm going to change it up. So see how she's looking away. I'm still going to give her a little bit of that loose rein. I'm not going to try pulling on her head to bring it toward me. Here, I'm also asking her to change directions, and this is very, very soft. There's the back up there. So stop, I'm putting light, light pressure, but I'm not, and I'm putting, you can see a pull and release. Gentle, don't want to pull hard, and I want that head to come down. Because the lower that head is, if she can back up with that head down, that's building up those top line muscles. And again, I want to work on some transitions where we go from walk to back up to walk and trot, back up, trot. But that's good, that's not going to come today. But I'm hoping that as I show progress, that um, for sure you'll be able to see some of that over the next couple of weeks because it's a little it's still muddy um, and so I may not have a really good place to do like riding with her but I can do some of this so here I'm asking her to walk forward 
and step her shoulder away from me. Um, and this is a little tricky. This is the video is in the description that's going to show you a better video of this. And there she did it. Um, but getting that, that body, their head to bend around you and their body to step away is a fantastic exercise for them. So the exercises that I'm working on really is uh, head down while going the walk in a faster speed, whether that's the trot or the pace, stop and back up, and then transitions of walk, back up, walk, trot, back up, trot, and then getting them to move the shoulder away and her head to bend around me. Just like that, see how she's bending nicely, but I need her to keep walking forward and step sideways right there. Good. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't reward her there. There she's stepping toward me because we taught her to do the um, stepping the, toward the mounting block. So looking for that there, the shoulder stepped over there, right there. And again, if you, you can watch this video again and, and see that. And so again, I give her the treat. I also stop and, and let her rest. If she needs to move around, that's okay. She's quite distracted. So the biggest thing is don't start jerking on the horse. Rather ask softly for things, whether you ask for a change of direction, whether you ask for the backup, don't force it. Be very, very soft and reward that any, any time when she's trying or bending. There we go. And I'm, I'm have, I'm out of shape too and out of practice doing this. There we go. There's a nice movement there. Um, you can also, one thing I forgot to video that I was going to show you and I will try to show next time is when you have just teaching the horse to soften and give to pressure on the nose. Um, again, the loose rope has to do a lot with, I'm not trying to see how she's turning her head away. My goal is not to pull on her to get her attention, but to praise her when she does bring that attention. So there she was looking to the outside of the circle and then she started looking to the inside and that's when, uh, I praised her. Uh, does it matter if they face you when you change direction? Um, well, since I'm doing on the, on the lunge line, and um, it does it does matter. Sorry, looking at some of the questions. Here we go. Just making sure that everything's working. Okay, so there she's looking at her foal, who's whinnying. And actually, in just a minute, or shortly, Firefly gets out of the pasture. There was one opening. There's actually two openings. She gets out, and that really worries Serenity. And then she comes back in. So then we're, we're all good. But she's there's a lot of distractions. And so what I'm doing is I'm reinforcing this idea that even though your baby's gone, she's running around and calling for you. The other horses might be calling. It's very windy and cold. There's grass. But if you look toward me, I'm going to reward you. And that is going to pay off when you start riding and you start riding away from your buddies. That's what I was talking about in the Buddy Sour video about horses learning to trust you and think you're important. Now, some people may say it's because of the food, and my friend Michelle had a great uh, answer for this, um, where people were saying it's because of the food. She said it's actually not the food, because most horses, when they're too nervous, won't eat. But uh, when you offer food in a case like this, where everything's fairly quiet, uh, fairly, relatively speaking, um, then and you reward the horse for paying attention to you you're creating a pattern of reinforcement a pattern of if you pay attention then you are going to get rein, reinforced and rewarded and that in itself becomes a reinforcer to know that when you do the right thing that you will get rewarded um and give a horse a chance be very quiet and still i probably should have given longer breaks i'm actually not happy with myself because i was trying to get too much done and so i should have um i should have given her longer breaks and more time to think about it that's on me there so one of the things you can do is stand in front of your horse with your halter no no uh no stick and ask the horse to step sideways with one front foot like either left or right and you just ask you don't pull on them and now i'm asking for the backup soft pressure head down and back up all you're looking for head down and one step back and after you get that you can ask for more there that's nice the lower the head the better she can have it almost to the ground um and as you get better you're going to do more transitions and we can work up to doing longer sessions longer than just 14 minutes we were watching firefly i think she was starting to play with clouds ball um, which gives me an opportunity just to let Serenity think about it. You can see she's looking to where the other horses are, but she's not running around. You know, I take a step and she's right with me. I'm not pulling on her. There she starts to look away, but I give that loose rope, loose rope, loose rope, looking for that attention to come back. Not back yet. There, now we're back. Now that head comes down. And I was asking for a trot where she sped up and then head down and back up right there. 
and reward that. And that's going to get better with practice. I haven't actually done a lot of backing up with her. So this is a new exercise for her. We've done the head down work, but not a lot of the other work, the, the, the trot back up trot, which you're seeing here. So you see when she stops, her head comes up and I'd expect to see that change as she does better. And we do more practice. So a lot of this is going to be very slow, and this is we're going to try to build on the foundation of this. But you notice how we just ask for a few steps of movement, either a few steps of around us, a few steps of back up, a few steps of trot with the head down before we stop and praise or stop and treat. Loose rope, asking for her to change direction. I'm just thinking, change direction. And she did very nicely. She's not totally trained in this. She is. We've done a lot of liberty work, a lot of informal training with her. But it's this idea that she's trying. She's kind of following the feel of the rope. She's following kind of what I'm asking her to do. That was nice. Again, I should give her more time before I ask her to back up. That's all on me. Um, I'll try to fix that in the next video to take more time and not be in such a rush. Lovely back, a lot softer. Look at that nice head, low head. And see, it's lower now than I think almost any of the other times when her, she's backing up. And that will really help her top line fill in in front and behind her withers and her hips. She lost a lot of weight when she had her baby. Um, she is gaining it back nicely, So, I, and I expect her to get that back. So there's the trot, halt, and immediately asking for the backup with the low head. And the low head is the important thing. It's not how fast can you get the backup, but can you get the low head. asking her to switch directions. She didn't quite get it. She wants to step over. So again, if you stand in front of the horse, you, there you go. She took a step sideways. <clears throat> and the big thing is the way the horse knows they did the right thing is if you stop and let them rest or if you give a treat, you know, click and treat, whichever you're going to do is fine with me. But if you do not stop and either click and give a treat or stop and let them rest, you're going to miss out on training the horse. The horse doesn't just know what you want. You have to praise them for doing the right movement. And she's a little bit, you know, fireflies right there. She's a little distracted. And again, uh, she hasn't had a lot of formal training. She likes doing that. You can see that she likes interacting. Um, but she's still a little bit distracted today. I picked a bad day to do this on. So, but you're seeing that kind of stuff at its worst as well, which is not a bad thing. See, she's checking in with me, which is awesome. So again, this slow kind of work, you shouldn't expect your first session to be really long. Okay, there we go. That was uh, the end of the session. And we, um, I will go ahead and answer questions now. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Lori. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nita. Carol. Uh, Marlies from Ohio. And Bonnie. And Alexandra. And Debbie. And Linda. Teresa from Texas. Hey, Lisa. Kelly from Los Angeles. Susan says, the screen keeps freezing. I don't know why I was doing that. But again, you'll be able to see the video. Um, hopefully it won't do that um, when we when the video is done doing live. Um, Valerie from Maryland, hey. Hey from Sweden and Linda and let's see, uh, someone from the Netherlands, Emerins, hey, good to see you. And Valerie and Kelly, okay, it doesn't matter if they face you when you change direction, okay. I do not round pen my horses, which could be where the question's coming from. And so that would be where you have outside turns and inside turns. I would train both. Um, but I don't make it like, I don't demand it right now. Um, this is not an issue of respect. This is an issue of training. And so I don't know that I have a good way to address that with a lunge line or a lead rope on. She can't turn to the outside. Kristen says, my horse does great with a head down when I'm on him, but when I get off his high head, definitely something I need to work on. Yes, absolutely. Um, it, and it will just take some time. I did it. I use food when I train head down. You don't have to, but you're going to have to be creative in how you praise your horse for putting that head down um, and getting their attention and getting them calm. But um, again, I will share the link for the videos with Serenity from a couple years ago. She was so distracted and worse than today. And I did a lot of this head down. And within about three sessions, she was a different horse. Susan says, I taught my pushy walker mare to sidestep to the mounting block. It was awesome. She crosses over front and back. It's amazing. 
Um, yeah, that's a good question. Am I using verbal cues? Um, no, uh, I'll use a to go faster. I am not. You could use back. You could use verbal cues. I happen to not be right now. Uh, Susan says she rode the new Rock and S bit, was skating perfectly, but when I stopped her to give her time to think, she doesn't want to stop and wait. I know you like us to stop and reward. Should I just let her walk on? Well, okay, it depends. If your horse absolutely won't stop and stand, then walking on a loose rein is a great option. However, a lot of times it's because the horse needs training to stop and stand. At clinics, I have lots of horses that the owners say, oh, my horse never stops and stands. And within five minutes of riding, if I stop and ask the horse to stand, they will. Because I expect it. I stop, I drop the reins, and I go, and they stop. And, you know, no big deal. So sometimes that's going to be an issue as an individual horse and a rider. You need to work on that and work on yourself. Make sure you're taking deep breaths. Uh, Lori says, I think you got it on the struggle I have. I need more patience and let my horses have more time to rest when they do what I ask. I get excited when they get it and become too eager for the next step. Yeah. And I have a hard time when I'm specifically doing the clicker training because I know that takes the place of some communication that they get it um, rather than stop and stand. And part of it was it was very windy trying to do a video. Um, so, it, you know, it's OK to make mistakes, but just try to remember to stop and rest because that's how they're going to learn. How do I teach them to trot when you start running? My mare just walks and does not speed up at all. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this. You can use a whip. I, I had the whip with me, but I hardly used it because I taught Serenity to speed up at the trot by following my body language and basically kind of mimicking my hips and the cluck. And I did that with clicker training. And I've taught quite a few horses that only wanted to walk to do this, um, including macaroni. Um, basically, you ask them to speed up by staying next to them. <laughs> It's, it's very difficult. This is a tricky body language thing that has to do with liberty. It's a wonderful thing to learn, but you need to you need to ask with your body and you need to time it right so that if they don't speed up with you, you don't go too far ahead of them and leave them behind. All right. And so you ask with your body and if they speed up even the tiniest bit, that's when you stop and praise or click and praise. And the clicker training makes it go so much faster. And I teach it at Liberty and I've done it with horses that for a week they only walked. But then all of a sudden they trotted one step and I clicked and then we got it. And they understood from then on what I was asking. Uh, Lisa says, yearling only paces during groundwork or loose in the field. I've never seen him trot or gait. Um, basically, just go ahead and do the groundwork. Don't worry about the pace. Once you get the head down, then start using ground poles. Um, again, I'm hoping to introduce them into the net, or as I do groundwork with Serenity, introduce how to use the ground poles on the ground uh, to get more of a trot, although she is trotty. If you want me to do it with a pacey horse, you have to bring me a pacey horse. Hey, Louise from Wisconsin. Um, do I use a voice cue for head down on the ground? He'll do it at the stop. We start moving. He doesn't get it. Should I use a voice cue? A voice cue won't help you if the horse doesn't know it. Um, I don't use a voice cue for head down. Um, I train with body language. And again, I'm going to share the link in the description on how I train Serenity to put their head down. And I've done it with many other horses. I don't use a verbal cue. I use body language and intention. Um, because I pretty much always want them to put their head down. If I want the head to come up, I'll ask for forward movement. Uh, you know, bigger movement, and then the head will come up. So I'm always happy when they're dropping their head. Um, it's normal for horses to put their head down at the standstill, but never when they go faster. That's a training issue. It's uh, not a horse issue. It's just you have to train your horse to do the same thing when you go faster as at the walk. Um, again, I have the free training video for head down in the saddle. Uh, so I'm not sure if you're talking about on the ground or uh, in the saddle. But on the ground, um, you have to just start training head down. It takes time and practice. Um, and Tonina from Poland. Hey, we've had so many people, international viewers. This is so awesome. Watching from Southern California, blah, 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 Southern California. Uh, my Rocky Mare needs more respect on the ground. So I'm going to rewatch this as I join late. Yep. Again, it'll be available for you guys. Anybody that joined late to watch the groundwork part. This is the kind of the Q and a part. <clears throat> and it's yes, horses. I don't even like to use the term respect. A lot of times they just do what feels good. So if they feel threatened, they may get closer to you. Um, they may run over you because they just don't see you as important. They don't see you as moving, you know, we need to move away from pressure. There's a lot of reasons horses are not respectful. And it just is a lot of training issues. <clears throat> Susan says, do I know if the May Clinic in Ohio got canceled? I don't know. You'd have to talk to Steph. I say you said you sent an email, but I have not heard. 
Okay, so any more questions before we finish this up? We're at 25 minutes. You'll be able to go back and watch as well as make sure you click on the links in the description when it's all done so that you can watch the other uh, videos that I mentioned. And uh, let's see, I'm just going to try. So again, my name is Ivy Schecksneider. I'm a gated horse trainer from Northern Illinois, though I do regular training, liberty training, trick training, dressage, all that stuff. And I do like trail riding and calm training rather than uh, show. I don't do the show ring stuff. So uh, my goal is to help you have calm horses, to have a nice relaxed gait on a loose rein. And uh, so we're going to do these live videos every day, almost every day, probably five, six days a week. Um, tomorrow's video, today's Thursday, tomorrow's video is going to be what is the pace? We're talking about the pace and the stepping pace versus a saddle rack. <clears throat> so I'll show you footage of that as well. And um, I've got a couple other videos coming up. I'll probably do a special one on Saturday, maybe on Sunday, because I, I have so many topics to talk to you guys about. So let's see here. Um, can I talk about advancing the head down? For example, if they're really getting it, but not keeping the head down at the end of the movement or popping the head up when the treat is coming. Well, if the, they're popping the head up when the treat is coming, then feed the treat down by the ground. That's easy. <laughs> um, and basically, if they're not, they have to be, so if we're talking about advanced work, um, I would not reward for the head going down unless they did it in transition. If the horse is starting to really get it and be strong enough to hold it in transition, I would work on that. You can also do target training, which is teaching them to touch the target. And I will try to do some of that in the next few weeks to show you the advanced training. Um, and Tonina says, when I start work with young horse, uh, work on the gates. Well, young horse, I'll definitely do groundwork. Like what I just did, you could do with a yearling or a two-year-old or a three-year-old, no problem. Um, you just don't want to do a lot of fast movements and, you know, lunging and stuff like that. Um, uh, I'm so glad the videos are helpful for you guys. And, uh, Susan, you're welcome. Linda, you have a major step pacer. Work on head down and then use the ground poles. And again, like I said, we're going to get that with her. And using the ground poles will fix a pacer. Um, even though Serenity is not a pacer, it still, the things I'm going to do with her still apply, especially if your horse is pacey. Okay, I think I answered all of the questions on here. So again, tomorrow we are going to be talking about the pace and the stepping pace and what to look for. Um, and then I already have a video on how to break up the pace. Um, and again, I'd love to hear questions you guys have. Please check my video lists. You may, I may have already answered the question. Um, I, I don't discourage you from asking it, but I may already have answered it. So I'll just send you a link. And thank you guys again so much for watching. It's so fun to do this with a live audience. And um, stay safe. I hope you all have access to your horses and can keep working. And you got this.